Ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten numerous requests how we do our live streams over here at Sprague and I thought we'd give you a, a short little tour of Sprague Land proper. And this is my sidekick, Brian Baltazar. He's the guy that does the maps on the show, and he's a high-tech fellow. And he had a big play in the whole getting the internet connected, which is up a block that way. Is how we had to. We're going to have to do a little footage of that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's so this this is the, the studio. It was an old garage, and and I and I just loved. The fact that it's funky, an old garage. and you'll, you, it's a trip because you never think that so much high-tech stuff is going inside of an old garage like this. And of course, my surfboard and, and surfboard rack, every every day here at Sprayland starts off with a morning surf. <laughs> this is our walk. And every studio needs a, a studio dog, and this is our dog, Ruby. Ruby, say hi to the camera. And that's my wife, Stephanie. <laughs> And here we come to the studio entrance. Come right in. Go this is called the down. control room. This is where I sit. Usually I'm sitting right here with the guitar. And I'm doing double duty because I'm playing guitar. And then if you look right over here, I've got my, my I'm running the audio part of the program, which is called Pro Tools. And there's so many buttons and look at all this stuff right over here we've got guitars at the front level but then we've got cables and instruction manuals it's a disaster now Peter what, what's all these cables over here on the rack what's all that for well okay this this is called a patch bay and we've got numerous devices and it's a way to come in and out of the, each of the device rather than reaching behind the device and plugging it in their ins and outs show up here and then I make connections that way and it looks like complete Mayhem, and it is. <laughs> <laughs> then, when we do our live streams, right over here is where we control the switching. And the switching is like all these different cameras that come in, and, and Steve usually runs the switching, and he, he makes choices. Oh, I want camera two right now. I want to put in a different image, like, like a, a, we, we have still images, and so there's Eric Clapton. And then there's Jack Bruce. This is from our recent cream one. So then all of a sudden, that's what will go out to the, the audience. And also sitting here on this area is where Stephanie, my wife, runs the chat. And then Brian is over here. He's doing the map app. It's a good place for you to be, right? Yeah, indeed. Okay. Then we come back here. This is always worth a view, ladies and gents. Yeah. You look right out. there. This is Dianetics on that. Gets <laughs> Gives you a good look at what it's all about in the back There's end. the cables, and that's a control yeah. room right there. Mm -hmm. And over here, you notice we have all these double doors and stuff. This is where drum, the drums hang out. We call this the main room. And, and for our next show, we're going to do the Beatles, and we're going to use that backdrop for Duncan on the drums. And you see that everything's all mic'd up. We've got the studio bathroom. That was one of my, my wife's smartest additions to the house when we were designing this. She said, you got to have a bathroom out there. I thought, no, we don't really need it. We'll just go in the house. Well, man, thank <laughs> God we have a bathroom out here. <laughs> this is the piano room. So like last session, Tripp was sitting at the piano playing the piano. He also was playing the horn. So this d serves as a dump couple different rooms. We've got some ancient lights, a lot of lighting. This light is so hot. You can only leave it on for 15 minutes before it burns the place down. And then over here, here we have the, this is where Leonard was when he was recording. And he's, it's an, an isolation booth that has got a nice tall ceiling and all padded up. So there's just no, no noise coming from there. So, oh, and this, we get lots of requests to play this. And it's kind of an easy instrument. It's called a tambura. That's it. I've mastered it. Yeah, and this is one addition that we had. We had, a, we had trouble with these small rooms lighting people up. So we got some help from our good friend Ken Kibo, who's a, a, a video guy and knows a lot about lighting. And so we're using these light panels like that. And you... you go against the white 
white board and then it, it makes a softer light and so they've been really successful the last show looked good right look better yeah yeah every show we kind of put energy into making it better yeah so this was a neat invention how to get up to the second story without chewing up too much room and so they suggested oh was it you that's Stephanie she said hey Peter I was the one that suggested it and it's a good <laughs> idea she has so many good ideas <laughs> Okay, so this is the second story. This is where Mac, the bass player, usually is. The room is sort of a disaster. What it really is is our office, and we're doing all of our, our stuff there, but, but we needed another place, and when I designed the studio, I wired it up so that we could do recording here. So right, we usually have Mac situated right here. Kind of, we changed the background a little bit. Stephanie does that. Everyone listens through with headphones. And they have their own little mixer. And this is kind of interesting. Nothing's showing here right now, but this is, we have a surveillance camera down in the room where Duncan is. And then he, so Mac could be here and see Duncan. Um, and I have one of these in the control room too, where I can see Duncan. Because it, very often it's a, it's a situation where we need to cut off at the same time and by having a, an image of Duncan, we, we, we put all that in charge with him. He's rolling the drums, and then he goes like this, and then we all hit that last chord. Otherwise, we would be guessing. So it's a sort of a way of having eyes, but not having eyes. And that's the view to the Pacific. In the dead of winter, those leaves are all gone, and you can see the ocean, and, and while, you record, while I'm recording, I think, I should be out surfing. <laughs> Okay. So last night's show, we had Johnny Mention out here. You probably couldn't tell because it's pretty dark in the backdrop here. There's a little bit of lighting up in the trees. But he was sitting here with his harp kind of blown away. We had the camera sitting right over there, kind of near the window, through the window actually, kind of facing him. We had a little bit of indirect lighting for him, so enough that we could actually see his face. But it ended up turning out pretty well. So we're always kind of challenged for enough space here. and We always have good ideas about what we can do but we've yet to really embrace one of those. <laughs> Why do we need more space? Well, we have so many musicians for shows. A lot of like the next show, we originally had charted six different musicians and then we start running but out of But why space. in the first place do we have to? Because we're, we want to be COVID safe, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And so that, hence, masks and so forth, and you saw that in last night's show as well. We want to make certain that everybody's safe during the whole process. So I noticed too that you had, uh, just a second, let me get one thing. I saw that you had some, uh, this Oz helps me while I'm working on my map app and it's nice he keeps a can of this here close so that I can get, rid of get those bug. bugs out, you know, because uh, Mac OS Big Sur is full of them as we all know. So folks, this is Jacob Baltazar. He is the son of Brian Baltazar, the, the map man, and he's our tech consultant. What would you say about you were here for the show the, the other night. What did you think, man? It's uh, it's organized chaos, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> organized chaos, but something good comes out of it. Yeah, and then and then what 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 do you think about our our knowledge of the cameras? Because you have a lot of knowledge. Oh, it's it's uh, you know, it's it's developing. Every show is a little bit better. So you're gonna come again? Oh yeah, I'll help out. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks.